Good morning, everybody. Hope you can see me and hear me. I got this whiteboard behind me here, and uh, I don't know how well my camera's gonna work out, but I wanna go over a few things with you. So, today I'm gonna talk about how you can succeed at an online business. And everybody gives you all these things you gotta do and all these rules and, you know, the certain path, and, and you can just wear yourself out trying to figure all this stuff out to where you feel totally confident, you know what you're doing, and you're just gonna move forward. But that's not how it works so i'm going to give you the secret to it today and that way you can succeed in an online business first thing is that you're not going to be successful right up front it's just not going to happen you're not going to go out there i mean every now and then it happens but you're not going to just go out there and just bust it right out front let me i'm going to walk you through kind of what i did and what you're going to have to go through and, and even once you do make it there's ups and downs i mean business can get slow it can get busy but there are certain things that you're going to have to do or you will never succeed. If you don't do what I'm going to tell you this morning, you will never succeed in online business. So let's get right into it. First off, you have to start. And I hope you can see this right here. You got to start somewhere. You have to start. And let me move that a little bit. Yep. You have to start with a thing right here. Some kind of thing, a widget, whatever it is. You pick something and you decide, well, this is what I'm going to sell. This is what I'm going to do. <clears throat> and this is what most people do. In my case, it was cell phone cases, okay? What I did is I researched the market, and I said, well, gee, everybody's got a cell phone, and they have to have cases. Everybody's got to have a cell phone case, so that's got to be a great product. I went to eBay, and I looked, and tons of cell phone cases were selling, so that was going to be my product. So whatever your product is, <clears throat> this is, <clears throat> excuse me, get my throat clear here. Whatever your product is, this is where your starting point is, okay? So we're going to start right here with whatever widget it is. Now this can be a service. You can fill this in with whatever you want to sell. doesn't matter. And then what's going to happen is you're going to go along and as you go along, you're going to find it doesn't do well. That's what's going to happen. And then what you're going to do is you're going to quit or you're going to learn and you're going to find out that there's X widget. Okay. In the market and x widget is really better than widget so when you start selling x widget here things get a little bit better and they go up a little bit so you started off with this item in my case it was cell phone cases and here's what i figured out about cell phone cases that's like the worst product in the word world to sell i just knew i wanted to get online sales so i got in there and i sold these things but i was making no money whatsoever i didn't make any money on them i mean i, I sold a bunch of them and i was packaging them up and then certain ones wouldn't sell. So I kind of put those aside for the time being. And I would go back to the ones that did sell. And then I had another group that wouldn't sell. And before you knew it, I had an entire closet full of cell phone cases that didn't sell. And all I was doing is buying new inventory. And what I failed to figure out was that people change their phones all the time. So whatever was selling today probably isn't going to sell in a week or two months or certainly not a year. So that went downhill. So what I did is I got into some survival tools. Okay. Now, here's the important thing. Would I have gotten into survival tools if I hadn't started with cell phone cases? The answer is no, because I didn't know about survival tools. So I had to get in here, right, to find this area here. So then once I got into some survival tools, a company called me, and we're going to call this X2 widget. Okay. And they said, we've got survival food. Okay. So I said, okay, I'll sell survival food. And what I found out was I, I learned about this and then my sales went up a little bit. And that was a pretty cool thing. And then what happened is sales went through the roof. I mean, I, we were just killing it with another brand of survival food. Now we make our own survival food and we sell it nationwide. But what happened was we got so many of these orders here that that company could no longer supply it to us. So what happened to us here is we lost our account. Where? At eBay. Now, what percent of our sales came from eBay? 95%, maybe close to 100% of truth be told. And we lost our account because this company could no longer supply the food to us because they got inundated with orders. So guess what happened here? Things went down. <laughs> they went down. So we were in a pretty bad position because I started with these cell phones, with survival tools, went to this survival food thing, and then they couldn't supply it. So what did we do? 
we came up with our own survival food. Okay, here's our own food. Okay, and we're going to quit putting widgets here, but you're getting the point here. This is probably X3 widget. And guess what sales did? They went up. So this is not a straight line, as you can see. And then once we did sell our survival food, people said, well, we want, and we were selling freeze-dried foods here, and we had other people selling our freeze-dried foods by this point. They said, well, we want proteins. So proteins, what's proteins? Well, that would be meat. So we came up with a process for canned meat. Okay. And the sales skyrocketed. They went up again. Now, here's the funny thing. Did I start off to sell canned meat? No, the answer is no. I, had, I didn't know about canned meat. I, I couldn't have even predicted that. But we went through this iteration here to where, you know, things really blew up. And we had the canned meats. And the sales were going up. And then we come to this little box here. What is this little box here? Excuse me, circle right here. This circle right here is teaching people this stuff, which is what you're doing right now. You're watching how this works. So what's the big key to this? The only way to do really well at an online business is to get into an online business. See, you can't figure these things out. You don't know what direction you're going to be heading until you get involved. And who knows where you're going to start off at. I certainly didn't say, I'm going to train people in online businesses. I never said that. Didn't want to do that. That was not something I cared about. But along the way, people started asking us questions. I've done meetup groups. And everybody said, well, how'd you do this? And how'd you decide to get into survival foods? And I had to laugh every single time. I was like, I didn't. The market took me into survival foods. That's what happened to me. And let me show you how to do it. Now, if you want to succeed at an online business, the first thing you got to do is get some basic information, which you're doing that right now. And you can get more right here, by the way. This is webcashacademy.com. And I'm not selling you this, but this is a great place to get started. And even if you don't want to get started, opt in and you can get some free training there, which is a pretty cool thing. Just all you just put your name and email, and I'll send you free videos. But the point is, you gotta, you gotta get in business to succeed. Because how in the world are you ever gonna sell canned meats if you don't start selling cell phone cases, right? I mean, that's how it works. The only way to succeed is get in there and do something. And if you want more training, make sure you like this video. I'm going to notify you when I have these live training sessions and you can watch more of them. And I'll give you some free videos too, which is a pretty cool deal. But keep in mind, this is the only way you're going to succeed. So right now, you, you can watch this video and you can feel really good. And you go, oh, that's it. All I got to do is get involved. And you can go sit back on the couch or, you know, sit back at your desk or whatever or you can actually do something and actually get in business. This is a good place to start, webcashacademy.com. I'm sure there's other places, but here's what I teach at Webcash Academy, and I have a couple other places too. I teach you what we did. I'm not gonna come up with any theories. I'm gonna say, this is what we did, this is how we did it, and this is what we figured out. And we figured out a lot of things along the way to sell millions of dollars worth of these canned meats right here, which we've done, and these freeze-dried foods, which we've done, but the only way you're gonna figure it out is if you get involved, you can get involved here, you can get involved someplace else, but you gotta get in. You gotta be in business to succeed in business. So I hope you guys have a great day. If you got something out of this, comment below. If you didn't get something out of it, comment below. Make sure you share this on your page or with some other people. Anybody who could benefit from them, make sure they see it. Thanks for listening, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.